Hello everyone. Oh, what a night. What a day. How's everyone doing? I hope you're staying warm. We're getting some snow here in Michigan. I hear Monday, um, Holland, um, Grand Rapids, Gaylord are all supposed to be getting a lot of snow. So I hope, I hope it doesn't come this way. I mean, I love snow, but you know, for like two weeks around Christmas, that's it. But anyway, so I'm getting on a little late tonight, actually an hour later than what I had scheduled. Um, I ended up having a tooth um, give me some problems. So I quick got into the dentist today, late this afternoon, and um, I didn't make it home in time to go with live at seven. So here I am now, and uh, hopefully things will go well. Um, my mouth, not so much. Uh, I have to have a root canal and a crown, which I don't mind a crown because what woman doesn't like a crown, right? Well, like a tiara, not a crown in the mouth, but anyway. Um, so there's a couple things I want to go over. Tonight is the last chance that you have to um, order the seasonal sale, which is 10% off of cardstock, 15% off of inks, and 20% off of dyes out of the annual catalog. So you'll want to um, um, make sure you hop on and, and get your order in for that if, if you're needing to stock up on any of those. Um, secondly, um, till the end of the month, November 30th, there is a sale on the starter kit. Um, instead of $99, it's $75. You get to choose $125 worth of product out of the current catalogs and clearance rack. And um, it's whatever you choose. Uh, Stampin' Up! does not choose it for you. You get to pick what you want for that $125 worth of product. And you also get a free paper pumpkin with that. Free shipping. And, um, and uh, yeah, not to mention a great team and support. And 20% um, off any future purchases that you have. Um, and you get first chance or first, um, I don't know what you want to call it, um, to see the new catalogs actually purchase a new product that, that has not been released to the public yet. So you get first dibs on that. So if you are interested in that starter kit, let me know and I'll help you out. So I wanted to show you something that I put together. Um, and I have fallen in love with it. It is an adhesive package. So what this is, it's a clear case, and I actually have one that is a canvas case too that you can um, embroider on or you know, maybe use your Cricut to do the vinyl. I, I don't do that, but I know a lot of people do. Um, you could do the same thing with, um, on here you could do the vinyl. Um, but in this package, it is, um, it comes with the um, stamp and seal, a refill, dimensionals, the green glue, and the mini glue dots. And the whole package together, um, oh, I had it written down, um, I think is $39 or, um, and that includes shipping. Um, or 32 if you pick it up at the house or, um, you know, we meet somewhere. So you save on shipping. But if th this is a great gift for any stamper, any crafter, um, because you have all your adhesive in one um, place. Uh, it also has room for your snips, your bone folder, your take your pick tool. Um, so you can keep it all together. And um, this would be your basic toolkit that you would take with you to any class. So if you're interested in that, let me know about that. I would love to help you out on that. 
So tonight um, we are going to do our fourth and final uh, class in the Christmas card series. So we've done three already. Uh, we started, um, gosh, eight weeks ago. Um, Cause I do one every other week and this is the fourth one. So um, tonight we are using the Peaceful Deer stamp set and the coordinating uh, punch. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't glare at you. There. Oh, that's better. Tip it down, Arlena. Um, so with this, you will make um, 10 cards, uh, two each of five different designs, and we're going to make two of them tonight. I already have three done, so you'll see all five of them. Um, you also get a bolt of the black and white gingham ribbon. Oh, I love this. Um, also, with this ribbon, you can color it with your blends, and you can make it any uh, the white any color that you want based on the ink. Oh, Sharon, I'm cutting out. Why am I cutting out? Hmm. I don't see that I'm skipping or anything on my live or on my other device, but I'll keep an eye open for it, Sharon. Thank you. So on the kit, you get um, 10 cards, two each of five designs, a bolt of the black and white gingham ribbon, and a half pack of the Peaceful Prints um, paper. This was available in the um, Celebration catalog. So if you um, didn't get a chance to get it, You'll get a half a pack of that also to finish your cards. And you will also um, see the other pieces that we have that coordinate with it that if you don't have it, they will be sent in the kit. The kit is $39. That includes shipping. And um, I need uh, the cutoff to order it is Monday. And then once uh, that happens, then I will uh, uh, get the kits together and I'll ship them out. Um and I'll put a link in the description up above uh, so you can do that. So I'm going to um, point you to my work surface. There we go. And what's really nice about these cards is the designer series paper the peaceful prints this card will show both sides of it so um, it is really 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 pretty um, let me get one more thing here okay so the first thing we have is a half sheet of black basic black cardstock and it is eight and a half by five and a half and we're going to fold that no actually we're not going to fold it in half we're going to score it at four and a quarter and then we want to cut off a three and a quarter inch piece so we want to cut off three and a quarter. And then from that piece, we want to cut that down to three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And we're going to use this piece as part of the card. You can put the other piece of black away and save it if you want. All right, so we have this piece scored. And then we want um, the, ba the basic white is cut at three by four. So what will happen is it will uh, match right over that black piece, okay? But we're gonna take this white piece and we're going to take our Peaceful Deer stamp set and we're going to um, 
stamp it in black memento ink and I'll get my acrylic block. And we want I'm trying to find the beetle. Okay. So we want the one that I don't know if you can see that. That's sticking up. You'll see it better when I ink it up. want to have a piece of grid paper under my work surface. Okay. So I'm going to ink the stamp up. Just tap, tap, tap. You don't have to push hard on your ink. And then I'm trying to position him in the right place. And I'm going to stamp him off a little bit. Right about there. And then I'm going to take the other deer that is... Kind of leaping, and I'll ink that up. And again, you just want to tap very lightly. You don't want to push real hard. And then you want to try to position this right, right there. And then. that I had a piece of scrap. Um, I know. Hang on. There's this um, five and a half by four. We want this piece to be cut by five and a half by four. So let me... So then I want another piece of that. I know I have it. I just don't know where I put it. There it is. I knew I had it. Okay. And then I want to... Um, get antlers on the buck so we can see who the daddy is. And then I'm going to ink that up. And again, just tap, tap, tap. actually stamped on here and then we're going to fussy cut around this fawn who's ready for Thanksgiving
my oven went out, so I gotta go to plan B and figure out how I'm going to make dinner. I thought about going to a restaurant, but I don't know what restaurants are open because I've never done that before. Someone told me at the dentist office that um, Kroger has the whole meal you can buy. So I thought, oh, that might be a good idea. Okay, so we have that. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to clean this stamp. And then I want the words, um, from all of us. And I think I want it in real red. So I'm going to open my real red. Put this down here in the lower right corner. Oh, pretty. that back up so I don't put my hand in it. I'm going to pop this fawn up with dimensionals. Just a um, little one. Again, I'm just using a piece off of the, the frame of the dimensionals. They all work, so don't use every little bit of it. Don't waste it. of the ribbon and I'm going to tie it up here um, when you hop on say hello and tell me where you're from I'd love to hear from you If you like um, what you're seeing and um, you could um, like my page and share it and um, that would be wonderful. I would greatly appreciate that. Okay, let's get this bow looking a little better. I like littler bows. Um, trim off the end. I like shorter tails, but you know, you do whatever you like because it's all creating. Okay, so now we're going to take that black piece and we're going to take this piece with the deer on it. Mm -hmm. And my stamp and seal is somewhere. Last Monday night and everything didn't get put back right where it was supposed to be. And then I am putting that right over the black and so it has a mat all the way around it, okay? Alright, so then we take this car this black piece with just this little flap and we're going to put the white down on the inside and this is not the right size so let me quickly measure it it's supposed to be four oh and this is four and a quarter so I'm gonna cut a quarter inch off of there by five and a quarter 
and we got to cut another one. So it was actually a full quarter sheet, but I'm cutting it down a quarter inch on both sides. And then frames in the card just perfectly. And then I'm going to take the designer series paper and I'm going to use the snowflake side and I'm actually going to run adhesive down the black little flap. It's like a one inch flap. Okay. Um, before I do that, I'm going to put this bedazzled paper on first. There we go. Just going to rub that down so it's got good, good uh, adhesion in there. Then I'm going to put more on the back of this bedazzled paper. And then I'm going to okay. and then I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals again. And again, I'm using all these pieces that I have left over. And I'm just taking the backing off of those dimensionals. And then I'm going to put it on here, center it. And we have that card. Now you can most definitely decorate the inside. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything in here. There's a what do you think? We have a rabbit. Um, I could put the fawn in the lower corner. I could put some trees. What do you think? Anything? Hmm. I'll leave it blank for now. But that's that's one of the cards. And then the second card that I'm going to do Okay. I need my crumb cake blends. Okay. And I'm going to see Soft suede is a good color to put the deer in. Okay, so again, we're going to score this at four and a quarter. Again, it's a half sheet of cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half. And then we're going to cut it at um, three and a quarter. And then we're going to turn that piece and we're going to cut it at four and a quarter. Okay. Again, you can just take this and save it for later for something else. And then we have that card again with that little flap. Okay. Then we have 
a piece of white cardstock that's three by four, which is gonna again mat right over that. And then this time we're using this paper, um, but it does have um, the back side with uh, um, its directional paper is what they call it. So there's an upside and a downside. So you want to make sure that when you put this in there, that when they open it, let me do it this to you, that the deer are right side up, not upside down. So that would not be good, would it? But I've done it, and I'm sure if you have not done it, you will do it sooner or later because we get busy and we're trying to hurry. So I am cutting this down to five and a half. Okay. All right, so we're gonna, again, Yes, that's the right side. So we're going to adhere our piece of basic white, which is four by five and a quarter. And we're going to put that on the inside of the card. And again, we're going to center it so it's matted all the way around. Okay. Then we're going to um, put some adhesive on here. And we're going to put this bedazzled paper on it. This bedazzled paper is so beautiful. Again, that was from Celebration, so you can no longer get that. It was free with a $50 purchase. So I have some left, so that's what I'm making my kits up with. And I absolutely love it. Okay. I'm going to... that down and then I'm just gonna fold it over and push it down okay I'm sorry I'm back I hope that that wasn't too long um, so what I have so far is the piece of black cardstock that I cut uh, three and a quarter inches off. And then I have the piece of four by five and a quarter, or five and a half piece of uh, designer series paper. And then a one inch piece of bedazzled paper. And the bedazzled paper and the designer series paper are, were both free items from Celebration which I have some left over, so I'm sharing that with, in my kits. So if you don't have it, don't worry about it. You'll get it in your kit. Um, if you do have it, you'll just be able to make that many more cards with it. Okay, so I'm going to, on my scrap piece of paper, stamp this um, jumping deer. And then I'm going to color her. It looks like a her, although we're going to put antlers on it, so I'm thinking um, it's a buck because does don't have horns, right? Antlers, sorry. And these are Stampin' Blends. I just kind of outline the image, follow the lines that Stampin' Up! already provided with the stamp. And then I go back in and I color with the light blend. So this was the dark blend that I outlined with and then the light blend. I'm going back in and I'm coloring the whole deer. And um, I'm going right over the dark that I outlined, too, because that's part of the blends. They're alcohol blends, so when you rub them together, or rub over them, they blend together, thus the name blends. 
I don't know if they're like Copic markers. I have never used Copic markers, so I don't know if they're kind of the same idea or or not, but I absolutely love my blends. All right, so then we're gonna fussy cut her out, him out, I'm sorry. So a lot of fussy cutting. Um, some people don't mind fussy cutting. Actually, some people love it. Some people hate it. Uh, what about you? I don't mind it. The trick is you move the paper and not the scissors. So are people getting ready for Christmas? You got Christmas shopping started, done? Anything wrapped? I have some gifts. Nothing wrapped. Uh, we have our outside decorations up, um, but we're not turning them on yet. We put them up when it was really nice outside because we don't want to put it up when it's like a blizzard outside. Um, we have not put our tree up inside. We usually do that Thanksgiving weekend. Um, my family is not going to all be together this, this year. First time in 27 years so this mama's kind of sad about that but the two that are going to be missing are going to be together so i'm am happy about that okay i'm going to try to get closer around this ear Okay. All right. So we have her, him. I keep calling her her because her, his antlers aren't on yet. So I'm going to try, ha ha ha, to line these antlers up on this piece and then put him on here with dimensionals. This is not going to be easy, but we're going to try it get my antlers again. Tap, tap, tap with the ink. I'm going to try to put up, up here like so. All right, let's see if we got them in the right place. And then I'm going to take my last dimensional. And that makes me so happy. This this empty piece of dimensionals because I get to open a new pack and oh I get so excited about a new pack of dimensionals okay all right and then I'm going to peel the back off of that and then line him up like so Oh, that worked out better than I thought. Then I'm going to take the words. Um, let me put these antlers away. Merry Christmas. And I'm going to do that in real red again. So I'm just going to open that up. Tap, tap, tap very lightly. This is going to go down in the center at the bottom. Like that. 
Oh, I like how that's stamped. Very pretty. Okay. And again, I'm going to close this ink up. I'm going to take some ribbon and tie it around the bottom of my card. If you don't like tying bows or if you have difficulty doing it, I'm going to show you what you can do instead. You just simply tie a knot. Let me get in there. Well, I think it would be easier to tie the bow. struggling with this so much tonight. There we go. There we go. That's why. Okay. And then you still trim off the end like so. And then you just have it it almost looks like a bow, but it's just a knot. It also cuts down on the bulk if you're mailing it so it won't um, take extra postage. So that that's a new that's a different way that that's an alternative that you can do okay and then we're going to use our stamp and seal adhesive and glue it down to our black piece that three and a quarter by four and a quarter piece okay oh there we go Gonna bring this card back over. We're gonna pop this up with dimensionals. Oh, guess what? I need more dimensionals. So I am opening a new pack. Oh, look at that. Fresh new pack of dimensionals. Oh, it's like Christmas morning. It doesn't take much to make me happy, that's for sure. We just take those backs off. Oh, there is one more thing, and we're going to center this. There is one more thing that you need, and it is like a wreath. So this is stamped. We're going to do it in, um, we're going to stamp it in soft suede again. So this is a little wreath. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that okay? So we're going to fussy cut this out, and this shouldn't take long because it's just a little piece. Has, the wreath has a bow on it too. It's pretty. A lot of detail in this. All right. And then I'm going to put, actually I'm going to use a mini glue dot. Um, because it's such a little piece of, pa of paper. I'm just going to put my mini, put it on my mini glue dot. And then peel it right off. And then Yep. And then it comes right off. And that way you're not touching the mini glue dot and losing its stickiness, if you will. Okay. So I'm going to put that 
around his neck. And then there's that card. All right, so let me make some room here and show you the two cards we made tonight and the three that I already had done for you. So tonight we made this card first and then we made this one and what's nice is it shows both sides of the designer series paper so you don't have to choose which side you want it and then here are the other three there's this one and because this is white, we didn't have to put a white uh, background. And that's the back side of that designer series paper. And there's this one. And it says, wishing you a wonderful year and friendships dear. I love that saying. And then there's this one. Sending love and peace this season. So those are the five cards you'll make. You'll make two of each. You'll have enough supplies to make two of each. And you get a bolt of the black and white um, gingham ribbon. And a half pack of the designer series paper. And again, it's the Peaceful Deer stamp set with the um, coordinating deer punch. So this is a bundle, so you'll save 10% when you order it. So if you don't already have it, you'll need it to complete these cards. And you have till Monday to order, and then I'll ship it out shortly after that. $39, and it's shipped right to your house. So let me point you back up to me. There we go. See the beautiful poinsettia? Um, my husband bought that for me. He knows I love pink. And it's Christmas. And that's another thing I love. And um, I love him. And he was so thoughtful. He went grocery shopping for me. And he brought that home. So that made me very happy. Um, I hope you have a good night again. Um, you have till November 30th for the starter kit, $75, and you get $125 worth of product that you choose out of the current catalogs and clearance rack. Um, free shipping, free paper pumpkin kit inside, um, and then you also get a 20% discount after that on all your future purchases. Um, also through tonight... Uh, 1159 I believe uh, is the deadline for online orders for uh, the, se the Stampin' Up! seasonal sale which is 10% off cardstock, 15% off of inks, and 20% off the dies in the annual catalog. If you have any questions just let me know. I'd be happy to help you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.